Zidane, wake up! You need to rest, Zidane. You little twits, just shut up. There's some things kids can't understand. You are a teenager, sir. You are a child. But we're kind of not doing so great, wounded-wise. Well, I guess we'll be fine. Thievery! Still got a big smile on his face, even though he's acting like such a big baby. Cha -cha -cha. Of doom! No, not dead yet. Okay. I think I've protected from most things at this point. But, which by the way, this is probably one of the cooler looking enemies. Rah. Not that bad. And a little bit faster. So, I guess if you're going for speed, attack. Better. Not bad. I don't have a healer with me. Uh, I oh. Looks like you'll need some help. Yeah, Freya! Can I still attack you? Oh, yeah, well, sorry, Freya, I don't really need that. Yeah, oh boy. You'll jump, but I may kill it before you have a chance to, to do anything. Stop getting stronger as you shove your thing in my head. Or in my body. Your head into my body. Yeah. Stop that. Can't you even take care of yourself? Of course Amrit is paired with Freya. Stop that. Oh, just throw a, an elixir your way. We don't really have like a stronger potion at this point. It's kind of weird. Yeah, oh, well, alright. Goodbye, Zidane. Elixir! Come on, Freya. I'm so good at my job. Well, <laughs> see, it all worked out as fine. Yeah, we don't need any more levels for today. We're gonna be pretty good for the rest of the game. How foolish of you to go alone. Are you gonna call them twits too? Damn hypocrite, always talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Zidane. Heh. <laughs> you gonna be a butt to everybody? Well, he's limping. I guess I did faint in the other battle. Nigua! <laughs> this is not the pairing I uh, was expecting. Uh, this is just a weird, <laughs> a weird freeze frame. All right. I will not be defeated so easily. No, I'm not that cuckoo good. Steiner, Kina, what are you doing? Have at the push. All right. Well, I'll have Kina revive me. And uh, this song, by the way, just, yeah, definitely one of the best. Oh, never mind. The name's not here. Can't have anything Maybe white, white wind? Ooh, we have shock, actually. This is an attack that freaking Beatrix used against us all the time, so it's our turn. Shock. Boom! Yeah! So yeah, Steiner's probably one of the other really good characters to have. Hi, eh. uh, Because his shock ability, uh, although it's a lot of MP, um, it's very powerful. That's kind of, I guess, my problem with it is that it costs a lot of MP. You guys. You're late, Zidane. There we go. Alright, well, at least I'm alive. And I'm just gonna attack. I'll be using Steiner's, uh, shock ability anyway. But yeah, the MP and... Ah, uh, uh, yeah. 
find it kind of boring. Yeah, kind of boring in general. I'm sure if I raised up his levels, his MP wouldn't be as much of a problem. But yeah, then it's fine. All right, I'll get one more level. 69. Perfect. Nice. What an unworthy opponent. The then you not can leave us. I still want you to take me place I have lost good food. And I have not yet concluded whether or not you are the right man for her highness, mind you. Oh, so he's, the, so he's finally gonna say it out loud, huh? I guess they've been kind of hinting towards it, but just leave me alone. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Yeah, they're slowly breaking them down. I like how they paired Sire and Kina together. <laughs> They're all a bunch of babysitting bastards. Limp. Limp. But trust me, I know that I'm the worst bastard here. Alright, what we got next? Ding. 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 Oh, I gotta stop saying it. Ah, oh, it's this Earth Shaker guy. Ooh, you look a little nastier than usual, boy. Stabby. Oh, here he comes. Ugh. His giant chin, like like a, the 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 frog thing, like the like that thing, looks nasty. Oh, Earth Shaker. I guess I could have had auto float on or something, but I'm not here to be prepared. I'm just showing you how overpowered I am at level 69. Oh, Ooh, critical. Nice. What's the next dragon? Yeah, shell dragon. Ow. Kind of reminds me of one of the dragons from uh, Legend of Dragoon. Or I guess not, because Legend of Dragoon had more of a uh, spaceship dragons. I guess just weird dragons in general. Smash. Oh, shoot. I uh, kind of need to heal. The Dane. Oh. Oh. All right. There she is. Dagger. Is this how you want to solve the problem? Nope. Alright. I'll just steal from you real quick. Here, let me solve this. Bahamut! I was gonna go for Ark for a second there, but I do not want to sit here for like 10 minutes. I'll sit here for the, the two and a half minutes. I would speed through this, but I like this song. In fact, I'll shut up for a second. Max damage. Ah, oh, it's so delicious. Okay, stop that. I guess I do a float with dagger. I could float us. I'm assuming I'm not gonna be hurting for yeah, no. unless he does the smash thing again. There we go. Ah, oh, couldn't you have died with Bahamut? Not oh, well. Yay! Levels and elixirs. And luscious ladies. Dagger. You try to do everything by yourself, don't you? Try to understand. I don't want to cause trouble to anyone. Aren't we your friends? I want to think so, that's why I always... <sighs> Look, I'm not from Gaia. I was just a hairbreadth away from becoming the destroyer of Alexandria. I can't accept your friendship so easily. You've always protected us. But you still don't understand that we looked out for you too. We watched your back while you watched ours. And we believed in you the same way you believed in us. Just like you protected us. We want to protect you. Dagger. You said it! Oh, you're a dick, ain't you know? 
mad. That said, tell me something. If somebody gives you pixie, you give them pixie too. It's good manners. I still not cooking fucking fog yet, did it? Kina. Chivalry requires a knight to look after his comrade in arms. I will not abandon you. And I shall follow you to kingdom come if I must. You remember that. Signer. Ha. What am I gonna do with you guys? The feeling is mutual. Alright, let's go. Wait. Where are the four others? You don't think they've been trapped? It possible. You should not have left them. That's right. I mean, really. Ah. I'm sorry. Let's head back. Together this time. Ugh. I mean, I'm not a big fan of this grouping, but sure. Cool. Alright, well, let's go back. And save our friends. Any items? Any items? Any items? Oh, hey, there they are. Zadine! Zadine, why did you leave us? I'm sorry. You were right. I need everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never. Daw. So you've had a change of heart. What a busy guy coming and going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Oh yeah, that's right. Amugo followed me all the way from Brand Ball. Just tell me if you need rest, Kupo. Alright. Now we can work our way out of this depressing castle. Because we're all together now. Cool. Alright. No, Kino. Thank you, Kino. No, thank you. Alright, so this was the party I originally wanted. Uh, I can work on Steiner and Freya, and I just can't help myself with Dagger. She's just too good to have. Hey, what's up, boy? Murak? I still got your letter. I'm assuming that there's nothing new here. Cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and save. Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. We are not alone. But let's go back and relive our trauma. Okay, so we've got the whole group back together. If you go back here, you can get a little holy lighter, which probably can be used for like synthesis or something, or just in general. I think that boosts spirit for uh, Ico, so that would be useful if you cared about Ico. Um, I do have two of my weaker party members with me, just so I can work on them. And I've got Garnet, so she or well, da I keep calling her Garnet, but like I know her name is like. Darn it. <laughs> um, okay, so we just got a big plot dump in the previous section, and Zidane went through his little time, uh, his five minutes of self-reflection and stuff. Uh, but I'm going to try to break down the plot as best as I understand it, because I know I've wikipedia would this uh, plot for Final Fantasy IX, this end section here, many times, and I just I don't get it, so... Well, I didn't get it. I have a the, my best understanding of it. But yeah, we, we can't go forward here, so let's go back. And let me just do this part real quick, because I'm going to lose focus really easily if I try to explain the plot while doing this. So we got to press this button, and we got to get past these lights. If you do run into those lights, you'll end up in a battle. I recommend going through this right side. Uh, and just don't... There we go, yeah. Just go through that right side. It's easy every time. And the light pattern is uh, consistent. It doesn't, like, randomize. Cool. All right. Just needed to get past that brain part. And then we've got this little weird thing. There's a little platform. And if you go over here, you'll see that there are other little platforms. Like, if I go here, it'll be like, oh, yeah, get on. Nope. Haha, <laughs> just lying. Yeah, so we gotta change it specifically so that we can get to other areas. So let's do, we'll press this and we can change the value. So it's currently at one, one gets us nowhere. Let's try two. All right, so you see that it shifted a little bit. So that's your, your little hint. So while I'm doing this, let me try to break down the plot as, as best as I know it. And I've got my notes here because I had to write it all down to get my brain organized. Oh, nope, that doesn't work. Two doesn't work. Ugh, 
See, now my brain's gonna be all messed up anyway. Does it work down here? No. Boom. Cool. Thanks. Jerk. Can only enter through one part. This part really reminds me of Chrono Cross. Okay. So, Garland dumped a bunch of information on us. Kuja is our brother, our, our gnome brother thing. And Garland's, the whole deal with Terra is that Terra eats planets in order to survive. But the deal was, is that when it tried to eat Gaia, Gaia was too, it was young, but it was still too strong to be, there we go, to, to be eaten. Now, they don't really explain why, because Terra had been doing this for quite some time. So, like, why was Gaia any different? Uh, my suspicion... Oh, there we go. My suspicion, from what I've understood, because it, if you try to just look up... Oh, nice, very specific. If you try to look up this information and try to just, like... Wikipedia the plot. It says Garland was afraid of the summons. So my my guesstimation here is that the summons operated similar to Final Fantasy VII's weapons. They protected the planet. So when Terra tried to eat Gaia, the summons protected the planet. And uh, oh. We'll never get anywhere if we keep going back and forth. I was getting somewhere. I got money. You love money. I got this, boy. I guess we can't go any further. Yeah. We'll handle these controls so you and others can wait by the elevator. Yeah. That's a good idea. You guys operate the controls while we head out for that elevator. Alright, let's do it. You got the controls, everyone. That's bullshit. I knew what I was doing. How many were there left? Four or five? There's, there was only two more. I would have gotten there eventually. Uh, let's try... What does four look like? Four looks like that. Let's try four. I'm gonna try four, you jerks. But I guess I'll talk to you. You're leaving me behind, so you gotta stand tall and do well. Thanks, Psycho. Seems like, no, let me snack here. Yep, nope, you're right. Why don't you eat the cobwebs, Kina? This area is okay, just a little scary, that's all. That's very true, this is a pretty nasty, scary place. Backstage work ain't all that bad. True indeed, Amrit. You had your time to shine, Amrit. You, you threw some stuff. Oh, hello. Buttons. The elevator! Oh my god! <gasps> I got it! Ah! I got it! Oh my god! I didn't think I was gonna get it! I got the... Freaking achievement! Yes! Hell yeah! Woo! I really did. I was like, I thought I got the last uh, ATE already, and I was like, oh, I didn't get it. I guess I'll have to figure that out later. Yes! <laughs> Finally! I already said four, Amaranth. Don't ruin this for me. Yes, return controlling to sitting. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I am so happy. Yay! I really didn't think I was gonna get that achievement because and I, I put so much effort into getting myself down to zero and stuff. Oh man, that feels so good. It's been a while since I've gotten an, like a hard achievement. Let's see, you gonna come up here? See, I was right already. I got the chest. Y'all just weren't patient. It's three and four. There, spoilers. Anyway, before I got interrupted by my own success <laughs> so okay Kuja's our brother Terra eats planets Terra didn't wasn't able to eat Gaia because I suspect the summons protected the planet so what did they do and also some places got transferred over anyway because it like half worked so like Oilvert and Kuja's palace like those places have some of the Terran technology but um, it obviously didn't fully work because I suspect of the summons. Okay. So, words and stuff and things. Uh, so Garland was created and his whole deal was, all right, so we can't just straight up eat the planet. We'll eat it from the inside out. We're going to start eating away at its like, I guess it's afterlife. It's like souls and stuff. So the Aoife tree was already there. So I guess they started uh, 
assimilating that way. And we got little three sections here. Uh, let's let's just start at the bottom here. Lots of treasures to obtain. But so Garland started to let's just eat the planet from the inside out, and that's what. Uh, Terra started to do this this process of I think this is the way to the end. Did I just just hit the lottery here? I hope not. Okay, cool treasure. Uh, so the Efa tree started cycling out Gaia souls, and instead did Terran souls. So that my my understanding is that so when Terra did try again to eat Gaia, it would. Gaia itself would be like, well, I'm technically already Terra. I've got Terra, like, souls inside me. So this makes sense. So I'll just let you do it. Now, Garland and uh, the Terrans in general, because the summons were able to prevent... Yeah, this is going to take me to the end, isn't it? Well, I picked the lottery. Take me back. I got treasure to get. I, don't, I gotta earn my S medal. But... So the summons were a problem. So it says in the wiki that like Garland feared the summons, but he also waited until the civilization of Gaia could use summons. And looking at what we know from the process of how summons connect to like, okay, like, like Dagger and Ico, for example, right? So Alexander could not be summoned until both Ico and uh, Dagger desired it and, and did the whole process. And Ramu was able to appear as he pleased in front of Dagger, um, and he wasn't bonded to her. If you look in the list before she loses her summons, Ramu is not her original summon. He just becomes one of them eventually, similar to Leviathan. But Leviathan is a whole different deal. He got failed summoned. So these summons connect to summoners. So Garland both feared the summons, but also wanted to wait for Gaia to be able to control the summons because when they bonded to a summoner, they couldn't just go their own way. And as you can see, this takes you back to that third panel, so you don't need to do that last one. So when the summons connected themselves to the summoners, Gaia then went to the summoning village and destroyed it so that he and the Terrans could continue their, their assimilation process without any hindrance. That's why he destroyed the summoner village because he was waiting for Gaia to, to take over the summons so that they would be required to be summoned by a summoner and then he just killed the summoners. He killed those summons. Why the summons were okay with connecting to the summoners Maybe they thought the, the, the threat was over or something. Oh dear, Marlboro. And they were okay with... Uh, yeah, we'll just grab the crest in this case. We'll throw a Bahamut at you too, just in case as well. So the summons may have thought that there was no threat at that point. So they, they were just like, cool, we'll bond with our Gaian civilization so that we can protect them and... and help them connect better with nature, which didn't work out in their favor. That's how I understand it. So once Garland got the summons out of the way, that's when he started to send Kuja along to start messing stuff up. But unfortunately, Kuja has a personality. <laughs> and Kuja, he knew that Kuja was kind of a problem child because Kuja wanted to do his own deal as well as be like Garland's number one guy. Um, so, Kuja was, he's like limited in his powers. Zidane was always supposed to be more powerful than Kuja, which, uh, you know, we have no way to prove that. But, I mean, Zidane's trance is pretty cool. So, Kuja, his whole deal is that he's more of an individual. He doesn't like a, he doesn't feel like he's really a, a gnome. So he's like, or genome, I, I don't know, it all sounds wrong. Genome, Gnome, Gnome. Um, so Kuja, he was like, you know what? These summons are pretty badass. I'm going to control one of these summons, and I'm going to specifically go for the best one, and that's Alexander, and I'm going to be able to control it so then I can just be like leader of everything, of Terra and Gaia and all of it. 
A letter from Murak, I wonder what about? From Murak to Mavnik. This is my first time using Magnet, and my first letter, Kupo. Hmm, what should I write about Kupo? What the heck was that all about, Kupo? Yeah, that was kind of pointless. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery. Oh, yay, a Kupo nut. I wonder what we'll get in return. Cool. Well, that was nice. Okay, so I'll just warn you now, and I think also the game gives you a little warning that it's like, do you still want to go on? Danger ahead. This is your warning that anything you missed in... Tara, uh, you need to go back right now. Um, let me just pause here. Well, actually, before I pause, let me just make sure I go through all my notes and make sure that I got everything. So, Tara tried to eat Gaia. Summons protected the planet, so they couldn't. So then Garland was created. Garland waited until humans bonded with the summons so that summons could be restricted in their power. He destroyed the summoner village, sent Kuja off. Kuja has a personality and like is more of an individual and didn't want to just be a big destroyo person. So he uh, went ahead and tried to do his own secret stuff behind Garland's back. Garland already knew what's up because he's super powerful and cool, I guess. So he knocked out Kuja out of the race, but then Kuja still wants to, uh, still wants to be number one. So he sent Zidane off to Oilvert, which is one of the original Terran places and got the Galug stone. And I think I think that, that that's another uh, weird point is what why did Kuja need Zidane to get the Galug stone? I actually think it was something that uh, Kuja wasn't that that Galug stone was put there by Garland uh, as like a last way for Kuja like he'd be just trapped on Gaia but when he took over the uh, invincible. So when Kuja discovered he had put the Galug stone back he wanted Zidane to go get it for him. And also it's probably to just split up the party and just take them out one by one, whatever. So yeah, that's the plot as I understand it. The summons were essential uh, and protected the planet. And then, yeah. So I think I've said that like 30 times. Let me change up my gear and get myself ready for the next section. Cool. All right, back. So for Freya, I can't, I need wind protection. I can't really get it on her and also I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna have auto region on her. I got some MP attack in case I want to attack. Man, or man eater and dragon killer will be good for her. Uh, if you've got the room, ability up, level up, but antibody and locomotion should be quite helpful. Uh, similar uh, antibody and locomotion. Uh, definitely all the stealing abilities that you can get your hands on. Uh, I went ahead and put MP Killer on there just for giggles. Um, I got half MP and Concentrate on Dagger. I didn't do it go with any of the autos uh, and also boost, so she should be doing some good damage with Bahamut. Uh Same deal with Steiner. So yeah, let's go ahead and get saved up and charge right in. So yeah, the plot of all Final Fantasies, they always have to get so convoluted. I can't even, I can't even imagine trying to explain the other Final Fantasies. Other than 7, I think 7 is quite straightforward. Uh, but again, if you, if you are missing anything, which <laughs> obviously I'm an expert. You saw, you saw that me get that achievement. I'm wonderful. Uh, so I don't even need to worry. I'm probably missing a million. I'm probably not going to get any kind of... Alright, let's go on. Let's move on. We're going to kick some butt. <laughs> 